What's happening, good people? How we doing? How we doing on this? Uh, this is going to be Thursday morning for you. Today is Wednesday over here for me. Um, time is uh, 6.51 in the morning. And uh, we're, we're about to get right into it, man. I got a little coffee this morning. I don't have any fruit. Um, I do have fruit, but I got a, you know, I got two big pineapples. I got some apples. Uh, and I'll get some when I, when I go downstairs. Got my water and my number one dad cup. I'm about to pour up some water because y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal. I just made a, well, I just posted a video about, if y'all follow the Breakfast Club, Jess Hilarious, she's out on maternity maternity leave. And um, a young lady by the name of Laura, Lawrence LaRosa is filling in for her. And this girl is on her A game. She is, she, ah. She's good. She's good. So I made a video uh, titled, uh, Will Jess Hilarious Lose Her Job to Lauren LaRosa? And it's just my thoughts. And I, I absolutely love Jess Hilarious. I love it's, it's I, I'm a big fan. I, I love her. She's funny as hell to me. Um, I first saw her with um, the 85 South Boys um, doing some improv. Uh, I think they was just smoking weed, freestyling the whole time. And uh, it was like five or six years ago. And I was like, wow, this girl is talented. She's from Baltimore and um, all that stuff. So y'all check that video out. Also, all of my videos, all the ones where I'm writing a book, Bajillion, online. There are uh, so far, I think I'm. this is number 13. So I have 12 other videos online on, on my YouTube channel. Check those out as well. Uh, leave comments uh, and all of that stuff, okay? Um, share, like, all that stuff so the algorithm can pick them up. Take me a little sip of coffee and we'll get started here. Yesterday, Yesterday's video, I did it without music. I think I'm going to go that route, yeah? And whenever I start creating this part of the story that I need, I need to just um, build on, I'll, I'll go back to music like in other words a blank canvas like the screen that you're looking at right now if I'm just adding story if I'm just writing and writing and writing not 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 editing I I, I tend to have music then okay mm. I apologize beforehand for my stomach growling that's one reason I like put the music on because you can't hear my stomach but anyways, we're going to pick it up where we left off yesterday. Oh, I must have went too far. Where's the green? This is the green. And this color green doesn't pop out like it used to. Schedule backup later. No, I don't want to do a backup. No, 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 no backup. Alrighty. So let me change this color here. I'm going to try to change it again. Um, that's not the green I like. I think it's that green. Anyways. Um, Hearing the bold croak of a frog, then seeing it in the distance as it dove from one giant lily pad down through the dark surface of the water, then noticing a group of turtles as they slid into the water, evading intruders, it was official. The magic had begun. I, I might, might change that. You know, tighten it up a little bit. Try not to make too much noise, said Henry. Why not, Daddy? asked Trayvon. Because... If there's any gators in this pond, noise is going to stir them up. And stirring up a hungry gator is the last thing you want to do. You might come after you, the man insisted. Might get you right on that plump belly of yours, he added, while grabbing at the boy's stomach. I ain't scared of no gator, Trayvon giggled. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't giggle here. Maybe he should be, you know. Maybe he should be insistent, insistent. Man, should I change it back to Jacob? Jacob is twenty. The name for this story is twenty-five years old, y'all. Trayvon is brand new, brand new. thinking about this now I ain't scared of no gators 
Trayvon insisted. But if I saw a Bigfoot, I'd probably run all the way to the I'd, I'd probably run all the way home like the Flash, leaving you standing right here. I'm sorry, Daddy, but I ain't messing with no Bigfoot, said Trayvon with a laugh. Said Trayvon. Hmm. He's serious. The funny part about it is he's serious. Watching his son as he painted his words with animation, Henry pressed hard to contain the laughter, but the boy continued overly expressing how fast he'd run, looking into his son's eyes, seeing them stretch wider with every expression, remembering those same eyes on the face of his father when he told on his father when he told his stories that shouldn't be a comma. When he told his elaborate stories, soon Henry found himself so jammed with the amusement, so jammed with amusement, he could no longer contain himself. He exploded with chuckles, hissing and spewing, before coughing out laughter everywhere. And as he sniggered and hooted, his son continued to over-exaggerate. His son continued to over-exaggerate, driving the stake deeper into his father's funny bone. Gasping, Henry bent with one hand on a knee. Right, I'm going to stop right here because I don't want to forget this. So yesterday, I had a case of the giggles, y'all. I had a case all day just giggling to myself about little small stuff. You know, I work in laboratories and hospitals, so I'm thinking, I'm looking at people, seeing you know, funny expressions on faces and, you know, people doing things. Everything was funny to me yesterday. And I'm like, why am I so... Why am I so happy today? Why am I laughing so much? On my way home yesterday, I was like, oh, I think I know what it is. Because when you read something over and over again, and you put so much energy in projecting this, because I want you guys to be there in the story. I want you to, to laugh at this portion. Now, because you're seeing this over and over, maybe you're not laughing. Maybe you are every time. But when the book is done, and you read it for the first time, and you go over this part, I want you to bust out laughing. And so I, that, I, I, I told myself, I said, that's this part right here, this line right here. Um, and as he sniggered and hooted, his son continued to over-exaggerate, driving the stake deeper into his father's funny bone. So that's not something you necessarily see, but that's a metaphor for how, how this, this young man is is causing his dad to just crack up laughing because he's just driving this point. He's he's gonna run home. He's he you know he's you know he's gonna um, if it's a Bigfoot you know all these things and, and so uh, that part just going over this over and over is causing me to and and this could work for the positive or negative. You know I, my last book was ill manic. That book was about mental illness and when I tell you I literally thought I was losing my mind, that was the case. So if you're not ready for that type of book, do not read Ill Manic, that book. But it's it'll take you it'll get you out of a dark place, I think. I think. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Anyways, I'm gonna finish I'm, I'm gonna take it from the top. And he and as he sniggered and hooted, his son continued to over over exaggerate, driving the stake deeper into his father's funny bone. Gasping, Henry bent with one hand on a knee the other was holding his stomach, pleading without words for his son to stop. He called for a timeout by putting one finger in the air, but the boy continued. Little Trayvon, I gotta change it back to Jacob. I'm sorry, y'all. I got I'm sorry. All right, it's Jacob. It's Jacob. Now I gotta remember how I did it last time. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, all right, let's. All right. It's Jacob. It's definitely Jacob. Hmm. I can't change it from Jacob. 25 years, y'all? Come on. Hmm. I see Trayvon Martin face up here. Uh, how did I do it last time? Somebody help me out. Leave it in the comments. Um, Font searched. 
a lot of this is me trying to just getting back in, you know, the, um, getting back in the whole swing of writing is a, it's a lot of nuance, a lot of little small things you got to relearn. All right, so just so you guys don't think I'm like slow or something, which I am slow, but um, this, okay, so with, with writing, you got to adjust with technology. I hadn't written in a long time, so it's been a while since I've done this. Last time I did this, it wasn't this hard, but this is how you change the name. You got to you gotta click on, or you got to highlight. You don't really have to highlight, I don't know, but you got to highlight it. Then you go to search, which I did that. Y'all saw that part. And then it asks you over here, see, this is the part that, that tripped me up. I'm like, I'm not used to seeing this. So you can search the media, you can search um, files, or you can search this file. So you got to click on this file. When you do that, then then um, it gives you the option to replace. So that's why it took me a while to figure it out. Anyways. Little Jacob had inherited his late grandfather's innate ability to drum up laughter in the simplest ways. He was a shark swimming in a sea of humor. And with a smell of blood, there was no letting up until tears flowed. I'm telling you, Daddy, I'd run to the moon if I had to, said the boy said. And if one of those big old gators was to bite my foot off, I'd still be running and hobbling. As Henry continued laughing hysterically, joyful tears began running down his sun-baked face. I don't need to pause that hard right here. His sun-baked face, a handsome, a handsome bronze in color, a handsome face, a, a handsome face. Bronze in color, a face that had seen so much in his 38 years. Soon, the tears were like rivers traveling through grassy, I want to say nose, grassy valleys, streams. This is why I need, I need feedback. I need some some I need some English professors to step in and help a brother out. Streams that found his thick beard like an African delta. Okay, so we're gonna move on. All right, so we're gonna this is green now because I've beaten that horse enough that I've beaten that horse enough. So that's gonna be green, and this is going to be black again. Black again. That sounds like a, um. A, a sitcom. <laughs> uh, what's his name? The guy that created Blackish. Oh, I also have a note over here that says maybe hint at the spirit thing on the water somewhere in here. Also have Jacob hint about the need for a dog. So I gotta, maybe I'll put that in a second. We'll see. Y'all remind me. Hearing the bold croak of a frog, then seeing it in the distance as it dove from one giant lily pad down through the dark surface of the water, then noticing a group of turtles as they slid into the water, evading intruders, it was official. The magic had begun. Try not to make too much noise, said Henry. Why not, Daddy? asked Jacob. Because if it's any gators in this pond, noise is going to stir them up. And stirring up a hungry gator is the last thing you want to do. He might come after you, the man insisted. Might get you right on that plat, plump belly of yours, he added while grabbing at the boy's stomach. I ain't scared of no gator, Jacob insisted. But if I saw a Bigfoot, <laughs> I'd probably run all the way to, I'd probably run all the way home like the Flash, leaving you standing right here. <laughs> leaving you standing right here. I'm sorry, Daddy, but I ain't messing with no Bigfoot, said Jacob. 
Watching his son as he painted his words with animation, Henry pressed hard to contain the laughter, but the boy continued overly expressing how fast he'd run. Looking into his son's, looking into his son's eyes, seeing the, these, them stretch wider with every expression, remembering those same eyes on the face of his father, of his father. Um, when he told his elaborate stories, soon Henry found himself so jammed with amusement he could no longer contain himself. He exploded with chuckles, hissing and spewing before coughing out laughter everywhere. And as he sniggered and hooted, his son continued to over-exaggerate, driving the stake deeper into his father's funny bone. Gasping, Henry bent with one hand on a knee. The other was holding his stomach, pleading without words for his son to stop. He called for a timeout by putting one finger in the air. But the boy continued. Little Jacob had inherited his late grandfather's innate ability to drum up laughter in the simplest ways. He was a shark swimming in a sea of humor, and when he smelled blood, there was no letting up until tears flowed. I'm telling you, Daddy, I'd run to the moon if I had to, the boy said. And if one of those big old gators was to bite my foot off, I'd still be running and hobbling. As Henry continued laughing hysterically, tearful tears began running. Joyful tears began running down his sunbaked face, a handsome face, bronze in color. Burnt bronze in color. Burnt bronze in color. A face that had seen so much in his 38 years. Soon the tears were like rivers traveling through grassy nose. Stream. I, I keep saying nose, man. There's going to be nose for it. Excuse my language. I keep hearing nose. So, <laughs> traveling through grassy nose, streams that found his thick beard like an African delta. Okay, so what? Hills. Mounds traveling down. Tears were like rivers traveling down grassy nose. Not through. And I do expect some comments to start flowing in here soon. And I appreciate them. I'm, you know, I'm thanking you ahead of time. But we're going to leave it here right now. We're at 18 minutes, y'all. See, I'm telling you going forward, 15 minutes is going to be something that we all look back on and say, wow, we, we were only doing 15 minutes. We're at 18 now. So we're going to leave it here. Um, check out all my other videos, y'all. Hit that like, leave a comment. I gotta get this in the algorithm. Y'all be blessed on this Thursday, your Thursday. Um, and uh, till next time, I'll see you guys around the same time tomorrow. This is Anthony L. Kelly, which you can call me A L K, sort of like. Uh, you can call me Bomanisha, sort of like M L K. Till next time, I'm out.